So, it's a flight between London Heathrow and New York's John F. Kennedy in my Concorde and we're up at 60,000 feet on our way across the Atlantic and after about two hours, which is um, two thirds of the way there, uh, I decide I want to go to the toilet and have a wee. So I leave the flight deck, uh, there's a co-pilot obviously and there's the flight engineer there and uh, just as I'm coming out of the toilet door, which is just behind the flight deck, I hear the dreaded fire warning alarm on one of the engines. I rush back into the, onto the flight deck, into my chair, and I immediately call for the fire drill on number one engine, because number one engine is showing a fire warning. That means you shut the engine down. Now, before that occurred, we were up at 60,000 feet, traveling at twice the speed of sound. Immediately, we're down to three engines, so we have to decelerate to subsonic. That means we have to talk to air traffic control and get a clearance to descend from the 60 down to 37, 38, 40,000 feet, that sort of height. And of course, we reduce our speed from 1,350 miles an hour to a modest 600 miles an hour. And we I immediately tell the passengers that we have had a problem with one of the engines. We've shut the engine down, therefore we have to decelerate and descend. And we then continue on towards New York on three engines. Uh, obviously it's going to take a little longer than it would normally uh, because the airplane will only fly supersonically on all four engines. So we approach New York, John F. Kennedy, and the forecast is for quite thick fog. That means an automatic landing. In other words, it's below the minimum height of, of, or visibility for one to land manually. And so the decision I take is that we are going to do an automatic landing into Kennedy uh, on three engines. And I told the passengers there's, there's no problem other than the fact that we're going a bit more slowly than, than the supersonic stuff. So as we approach New York, uh, and we're really committed to, to New York, then they tell us that the visibility has dropped even further and that they're down to about 300 meters of visibility, which is very little when you're traveling at 160 miles an hour. And we know that e on an automatic landing that we're not gonna see the runway lights till we get to about well, a couple of hundred feet traveling at 160, 170 miles an hour. So we start, we've got two automatic pilots. We put them both into, line them up for the auto land, and we start our descent. We're at a thousand feet descending down the uh, instrument landing system with the runway, which we can't see ahead of us. And one of the automatic pilots drops out. So we're now in a position where we've only got one autopilot, we've got three engines instead of four, and if that other autopilot drops out, then it's going to have to be a manual landing in very marginal conditions. However, the autopilot stays in and we do an automatic landing. We don't see the runway until we're about 150, 200 feet above the ground, traveling at 170 miles an hour, and then we touch down full reverse on the three engines, of course, not four. Uh, that, that means more braking and so on. And uh, we're all quite relieved to get on the ground as we taxi in. And the passengers, uh, we heard them clapping because they were quite pleased to be on the ground. And it was a lovely automatic landing in very marginal conditions. And so that was yet another exciting flight in my beautiful Concorde. You've got it. Were you at all like scared or nervous? Uh, not, not at all. I've never been scared. I, I perfectly, I'm always confident that I have enough knowledge and experience to deal with just about any uh, problem because that's part of your training. It's part of your experience. It's part of your job. But no, don't, don't get frightened. No, I mean I might well say to myself, Lord, please get us in safely now or 
please, Lord, you know, ensure that I do the right things. And so, yes, I'm a great believer in that. And I've used that, that prayer to the good Lord God um, many times in the course of my flying career, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So there you have it. Cool. Perfect. <laughs>